Jared Pullen Fronos photo.com and it's time for a photo of the week and this serves multiple purposes not only uh, is this showing a photo of the landmark which is currently the theme for the Adorama Picks uh, weekend section but also it's a uh, a preview of a five-minute portrait I did with Mr. Gizzy on the art museum uh, at the art museum in Philadelphia, and also check this out. People have been asking for V-necks. I am wearing a V-neck, and uh, you can keep an eye out for them. I did a very, very short run of V-necks to see how it goes because I know a bunch of people said they want them, but we will see how they actually go. And if they go pretty well, I'll just order V-necks for you guys in multiple colors so you can. Have V-necks, because that's what you want. Also, don't forget the Drobo contest is running where you may win a free Drobo. One, possibly even two. Remember, I said I could get a second one, maybe. And there's a good possibility I'll be giving away two, not one. So definitely check out the website. You can link down below and get to that contest. So here we've got Gizzy. This is the photo of the week. There's other ones that I would love to choose, um, but they work. They're, they're less in context, and I wanted to show this. Um, so here's Mr. Gizzy O'Toole sitting on a stool, stool, stoop, um, at the art museum, putting on his great rock star pose. What I was going for here, uh, having him tilt his head up so that the sun is coming down, filling in his eyes, because it was literally 11, it was probably about 12, 20 in the afternoon, so the sun is straight up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm fighting off the cold. Um, so Gizzy was sitting there, and I actually filmed a whole five-minute portrait of this. But, you know, I want to go through and edit this one. There's some other cool shots that you'll see when I do the five-minute portrait that you will see um, other shots of Gizzy. Now, what's interesting here, I've had people ask me about the Brezhneverger method. The Brezhneverger I don't know the guy's name. I forget his name. I actually met him at the photo show last year. He's a friend of... Uh, one of um, somebody else I met up there where there's the method where they would be able to shoot a wide angle and get the background really blown out of focus. But here we go. Shooting with a 14 to 24 on the Nikon D3S, 1 4,000th of a second at 3.2 ISO, 200, 14 millimeters, because I wanted to shoot ultra, ultra wide and get Gizzy in the scene with the background there. Really cool color in the sky. Um, but I really think I'm going to go ahead and edit in black and white this week. I just, I just, you know, look, look, <coughs> I could pump up the contrast and boom, it looks good. I could move the yellow to warm it up slightly because it was extremely warm out, boom. I could even come down here to the blues and pump the wrong way. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to change the luminance. I want to change the saturation. Whoa. Who knew? All right. I had no idea what that's interesting for all those people that say i don't know what i'm doing in lightroom you always discover some interesting things so i made the sky purple there it's not what i meant to do now i know that maybe it's under the hue no oh oh no interesting very interesting i don't know what i was going for Oh, yeah, this was it. It was the luminance to pump up the sky. That's crazy stuff. Well, that was pretty cool. I went to over here to the um, hue and made the sky purple. I love it. I really love the fact that the sky was able to go purple. Wow, that's beside the point. So let's get back to what we were doing here. Uh, da da. So, yeah, I don't want to do that with the sky. It's just too much. Um, you could always pump up the saturation, but look what happens to all the all the colors. They become too vibrant. Ooh, but I love saturation. So, I really think this is meant to be black and white anyway. I didn't want it to be too thick. So, I'm going to hit the reset button down here. Click my black and white up here. Bump my exposure slightly before I do anything else. Boomify my contrast. Hello, contrast. And then go like up a little bit with my black levels a little bit of clarity here and I really think that this pops much more than in color because now Gizzy stands out before in color I felt that he blended into the background being that shooting at 14 I wasn't able to blow the background uber duberly out so instead I now think in black and white that Gizzy becomes more of the focus than the background 
and I like it. So there's Gizzy. And let's play with some of the sliders here. Or sorry, with some of the, uh, ter the tone curves and tighten it up even more. We'll take it to 11. It's too much, too much. Pull back, pull back. I use a lot. Utilize a control Z button. Sorry, command Z, which goes back. And let's see what happens when I move the highlights. I don't want to go too far. Just a little bit looks good. There's Gizzy. I've got my general sharpening, but I also notice up in here, major, major dust. I click over here on, what do they call this? The healing brush, spot removal brush. And I'm scrolling up with my mouse to allow me to select a larger area. I click on it, the sky next to it doesn't have anything into it, and then it blends the sky, and I don't have to go into Photoshop. This is one of the times where Lightroom, you can take out spots like this and not have to worry about going into Photoshop. Uh, I didn't try any fill light before, don't want it, don't need it in this picture. <coughs> Excuse me again. I like where this went. I like this black and white more than I did in the color, because like I said, the color was pretty uh, it just looked like Gizzy wasn't the focus. And if we wanted to make him even more of a focus, we could add some post-crop vignette and draw you in. I, I'm not always a fan. By the way, if you use this light switch, I call it right here, if you toggle it off, it turns off all of the settings that were there. And if you toggle it on, it shows you your settings. Um, it shows you what the effect would be. So that's backwards with white. This is up slightly. Why don't we do a little bit of vignette here, a bunch of feather to make it, well, so I'll need to add more to make it feather more. So there's that, and that is what I am going to do. So here's without the post crop vignette, why don't I click the proper button, boom, gone with it makes it stronger, draws you in. Again, it's personal preference with what you could do, but I like this shot for the photo of the week. Look forward to showing you the whole five-minute portrait session with Gizzy. Look forward to seeing what you guys shot for Landmarks over the weekend, and good luck on the Drobo contest, which you have a few more days to enter as of today, which is August 4th, 2011. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.